Prophet of Biafrans, men and women of goodwill and of good conscience, this is Radio Biafra representation on this evening of the 26th of January 2019. We are live from London and reaching you wherever you are on this planet Earth, from east to west, from north to south, from the upland and from the coastal regions of Biafra land. We call down the glory of the Most High God. Chukwu to come and indeed cover each and every one of us, hardcore, genuine, conscientious IPOB family members, wherever they are, individually and collectively, could continue to indeed imbue us with strength, with courage, and with every amount of tenacity to stay the course, to continue to set confusion into the camp of our enemies, the zoo called Nigeria. The corridors of power in the contraption called Nigeria can no longer be the same. IPOB is vindicated. Every event going on in that contraption called Nigeria is a vindication of what has been professed on this platform and what indeed we live on for posterity and for the rest of humanity to bear witness to. We ask the most high God to sustain this in their lives. And in our lives, may they continue to speak in hostile, amphitheatical, divergent languages among themselves that they will never agree. Eventually, may the contraption called Nigeria, the most abominable entity on this planet Earth, collapse and indeed dismember that the indigenous populations, component units, will indeed go their separate ways and, if need be, reconstitute along in mutually acceptable terms and conditions to continue to indeed live side by side with one another. It is not by force. We ask you the most high God as you sustain this pressure on the most abominable creation by mortal called Nigeria. We ask you to remember your promises to our ancestors and by extension and implication on the false presentation of Biafrans that you shall restore our lost inheritance towards the land of Biafra. We are indeed at the forefront of making sure that everything is put in place to make every available opportunity seized by the people of Biafra a reality to indeed eventually realize their ambition and goal. Men and women have died. May the souls of our gallant heroes and heroines who have paid the ultimate price that we may have our freedom continue to rest in your bosom, but may they never rest. Where these evil men and women are, may they continue to haunt and torment all of them until they dissipate and disappear from the face of this planet Earth. Allow us to go get to stand on that our lost inheritance when fully restored to raise our voices in unison in a new symbolic covenant to praise your name forever that the rest of humanity will bear witness to it and that these are enemies will be in all of your name. Do this for us now, for we have no other but you. To this we say amen and amen and amen. He say, he say, he say, my name is Mr. Four. I am the deputy leader of indigenous people of Biafran from Abatete. Abatete is in the day many day many is in all man but all member is in Biafra land. Our leader, Mazin Nam De Kano, is here in the United Kingdom. Of course, a lot of people have been asking a number of silly questions. Instead of going through the appropriate channel, they go on Facebook and yapping all manner of rubbish. Before our leader, Mazin Nam De Kano, came to the United Kingdom, every necessary effort, both at diplomatic, both at political, both at social levels, security-wise was made. And therefore, if anybody thinks that they can do anything funny, let them go ahead. Anybody that puts Nam the Kanu or IPOB to trial is also putting him or herself or themselves to trial. Go and ask the zoo called Nigeria why they could not indeed do the needful by making sure that the case of IPOB 
was do, given a due process. That due process was allowed to take place in the case of IPOB family members, including that of our leader, Mazin Nam. They, can, they know that they are not going anywhere. They know that they will not, they are not going to make any headway. And indeed, eventually, they decided to go through all manner of unconventional means to try to subvert the cause of justice. And here we are today. Our leader, Mazin Nam De Kano, is having some rest and in the next couple of hours, not on this program, he's going to address the people of Biafra. And he sends his good wishes to each and every one of us and urges to indeed remain more than ever before tenacious and committed to this cause because victory is near. If you are doubting what is happening or what is yet to happen, look at what, look at developments in the contraption called Nigeria. It is all the way a vindication of IPOB's position. It is all the way the revelation that is yet to come and for which IPOB has been doing what is needful. The zoo called Nigeria is not a country. It is an abomination unto mankind. There is every amount of justification for anybody to go his or her own separate way. Take into account what is going on. People are being subjected to all manner of horrendous injustice, pains, difficulties, torture. There are cases of um, for disappearance, extrajudicial killing, extrajudicial incarceration of those who are not indeed in tune with the with the programs, with the uh, policies of the Northern House of Fulani Islamic Fundamentalists who are having control over everything that concerns our people. And some people who are supposed to know are indeed pretending. The latest occurrence, the latest impunity that had just taken place was the removal of the Chief Justice of the Zoo called Nigeria Justice of Nohem. And as we speak, people are still preparing. They are still talking about, they are still having meetings upon meetings on what they need to do. Everything happening in the contraption called Nigeria has indeed reached a crescendo. And there is every justification for popular revolution to take place. But the zoo citizens will not do anything. They are in their comfort zones. Those criminal politicians and the businessmen who are by their sides are indeed eating. They are indeed making money over the misery and pains of their own people. And therefore, we don't want to do anything along the line of seeking justice for the oppressed. But very soon, they will understand that even the ground and the premises where they are carrying out those their nefarious businesses will not be conducive for them anymore. The people's anger is rising, but it is also a vindication of what we've been saying before our leader, Mazin Nam De Kano, indeed is a prophet, not fake prophets that we are seeing today. And therefore, every honor, every glory must be given to the Most High God who has been propelling us on this journey to restoration and redemption. And to you hardcore IPB family members, you need to be proud of yourselves. You need to indeed consolidate because victory is coming your way. We have made a very wise choice and it is a principled one indeed that we shall boycott the forthcoming already rigged fraudulent presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria. It's selection anyway because what will happen on 16th of February 2019 is already written. It is now being manifested gradually. It is coming out gradually and 
what is to come in the next days and weeks ahead will indeed marvel a lot of people. Those who are clamoring for PVC will be disappointed. This is what IPOB have seen and indeed insisted that we are not going to participate in any election because it's a waste of time and some people will even lose their lives. The only antidote, the only powerful antidote, the only powerful solution, best of it, remains the shutting down of the system. Standing against the system of oppression, of injustice, of corrupt activities being perpetuated in very high and in low quarters. That the people being subjected to this horrendous experience will be able to speak their minds on issues that, con that concern them. There is no government in this so called Nigeria. What we have is gangsterism, political gangsterism from Northern House, South Fulani Islamic fundamentalists. And all those political parties that you are seeing, most of them are affiliates or pseudo or maintaining pseudo, uh, pseudo presence for the main political parties. At the appropriate time, you will see their so called presidential uh, as parents giving way, withdrawing for their masters. Meanwhile, they have made you to believe that they are genuinely fighting for your cause. All of them are the same thing. The system is inimically against our progress. And therefore, everything humanly possible must be done. Make sure that the system does not continue. It doesn't matter the kind of person you put there to go and represent you. Even if you put a cent, even if you put the most high God there, the zoo system will corrupt, will corrupt him. And therefore, it is our considered opinion and a very principled position for us to indeed insist on what needs to be done in the next days and weeks ahead. Boycotting of the 2019 full-length presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria is a priority. Continue to evangelize, continue to disseminate this information, continue to, of course, uh, sing it in the ears of your family members, friends, and, fo uh, and, and even foes as well, that they are going to destroy themselves in the process. I don't know what else to say. A lot of things have happened in the last past weeks, in the last 72 hours, so many things have been happening. People are still going about their normal way because they know. I think because they know that uh, we have some uh, intermittent here and we will have to deal with it. People are going about their normal duties pretending that there's nothing that has happened. People are going about their normal, du normal duties and giving you the impression that all is well. They cannot do anything, especially those who are in position to do something, because they are afraid of their future. They are afraid of discomfort that may come to them. And it is therefore the responsibility of the electorate, responsibility of the masses, to indeed know that their future is not safe in the hands of these criminal politicians. We cannot say it enough. We must consolidate as long as we are ideologically consistent, as long as we are tenacious, as long as we apply ourselves to it. There is no going back. Victory shall be ours. The heart of this project will continue to play shall never be allowed to see corruption and the gate of hell shall never prevail against it. You IPOB family members, you hardcore dedicated beer fans should be proud of yourselves. Pat yourselves in the back but also remember that this journey has just started and 
we have enormous responsibilities on our shoulders. Some people are saying that uh, they are blowing up pipelines and all that. We don't believe in all this. Discipline is the key. Our people in both upland and coastal regions of Biafra Line should understand that unless we fight for our freedom, unless we stand for what has held us together, every, everything else is peripheral. Everything is secondary. Resource control is not going to take us anywhere. Anybody embarking on resource control is deceiving him or herself because they are going to come and settle you as usual and you start saying something else fight for your freedom let the removal of the chief justice of the contraption called Nigeria Zoneha unite the people of Biafra both in Upland and from the coastal regions of Biafra land. all these our leader have said in the past few weeks and months and even years back and today, we are grappling with the reality of the time. The ominous sign in the horizon is very, very bleak. The future is not bright at all. And therefore, now is the time for us to make it where the sun is shining. We are on different platforms, other platforms, FMD stations across Biafra land. We are, of course, taking particular attention, particular note of our FMD station in different parts of Anambra, in different parts of Eboni. Uh, our FMD station in our choir room, I don't know whether it is up and running as we speak. Let our people confirm. Ego Cha FMD station, we want confirmation from our people who are, of course, listening via the platform. We also are very much aware of the fact that our people in our Saba area are not indeed getting us on FM stations. But if anything changes in the positive, please let us know we are trying to do everything when possible to make sure that everything is done in that direction to bring closer this gospel of restoration and redemption to our people via the installation of these FMD stations. We are also asking our brothers and sisters individually and collectively to consider sponsoring satellite units for our people in different parts of Biafra land. We are asking them to also invest in the decoder. Some of them are in the neighborhood of 6,000 naira, 7,000, 10,000, 15,000, as much as you can afford, please sponsor satellite units or as the case may be decoders for our brothers and sisters in the remote areas of Biafra land because this gospel restoration and redemption must be disseminated. Let people also from different communities in Biafra land come together, especially those abroad, those in diaspora and sponsor our FM stations to make sure that every nooks and crannies of Biafra land are covered. We salute the courage of all those who have been doing something in that direction and we urge you to consolidate. We have a new app, Radio Biafra app. Go to a Google Play or Google Android Market. If you are using Android phone, simply go to uh, is a Google Store or Android market, as you say, and uh, download, just type Radio Biafra app and you will see that app. That app is remarkably an improved version of what we had before. And we urge you to share it, continue to share, continue to disseminate it. Our website, Radio Biafra, does see should be up and running. RBL World should be up and running. I don't know about other websites, but we're trying to do something about it. Make sure that there are people listening to us via those websites. We are on call to listen technology. Our people in Biafra and our people in United States of America, our people in the United Kingdom, 
should be making available use of those platforms if they so wish. We are on Simple Radio, we are on TuneIn. Download these apps. It is approved and we urge you to use it. Go online and use other platforms that are streaming our content. The number to call when our lines are open is 447 9644146. We are also on Skype this by this Radio Biafra 6. Radio Biafra is one word number six in front of it. We urge eminent Biafrans to remain focused and resolute. Abductions of our people are still going on in Biafra land. And we are all in the know of what is going on. We must not capitulate. We must not waver. There are people who are saying if somebody is warning in the zoo top political office that IPOB will lose credibility among the people and we're asking those people they are the same people that say that they are going to stop an election in the zoo called Nigeria. We are waiting for them. We haven't seen them. IPOB said we are going to boycott election. They even faulted us on that particular uh, stance of ours. We will deliver on what we have promised. Let any man or woman deliver on what they have promised. That is the only way forward. We are not interested in who is in position, who is in control of the zoo called Nigeria. As we speak, even if this house of land is continuing, it is better for us because Biafra will come even faster rather than hypocritical individuals and groups but we don't have anything to do with them we are back to the election all we know is that as long as we remain consistent as long as we remain focused there is no way be afraid we need come let those who are twisting IPOB messages IPOB broadcasters anchored by our leader Mazin Namdekano know that their lives we cut up with them. We are boycotting the first the forthcoming presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria. It is already rigged. Of course, and there's no time no need wasting our time. This is just a message. Simple and short. We are going to be staying at home on 16th of February 2000 and 19. Even some people from the zoo called Nigeria are now emulating IPOB boycott. And they are, there are some people on the other side saying IPOB's strategy is not effective. Why are people studying what we are doing? You need to continue to do what you are doing. Do not listen to anyone. There are all of them out there on the periphery clamoring for guns and bullets and all that. They have been given the opportunity to let them go and fight the war they want to fight, they cannot. In each occasion they come back and they will call IPOP. Why are you after IPOP? You cannot penetrate. We set agenda for ourselves and we follow you to the letter. Once again, a message from our leader Mazin Namdekano. A warm greeting this evening. He is, uh, he is going to be addressing their friends in the next couple of days. And we will announce it in due course. The number to call once again is plus 447 plus 447-405-964146. We also in Sky, in Sky Paradise, where they be a first six. Would you be afraid one word number six in front of it? We will be back in a minute. Right. Call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Right. Thank you very much. Welcome to the program. Congratulate you for the effort, and I have my every leader is part to uh, sign. 
and I say, may you go to that I must be guiding him and protect you because every time I used to I call my brain like this and I say, I'm nothing but ordinary human to that two people are feeling above. I say, may God to that two people are giving you more reason to violate the appearance to be fine. You know, if you got nothing to do with it, it will be a digestive process. Nobody will come back to my mouth. They claim saying it is or that. Those people are here. Nobody is able to do that. We know what we are doing. Before I continue, I want to use my dad's head to speak to my brother as I have from a position. You know, can you permit me? Yes, of course. But before before you continue, what is the level of preparedness for the boycotting of the already rigged presidential election of the zoo called Nigeria? What is your preparation? How far have you prepared? Uh, particularly, I myself, uh, before I went to travel with the company, I, I joined uh, our African representatives for more affairs. But I, when I, everybody went in, he joined hand in side places and campaigns for evangelism. And I tried my possible best. Even though today we went to our side, they kidnapped one of our brother three For information, I have heard that they have come back now. We have, and they have reached many inside villages, many issues. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Anybody, any one of us that is abducted must be reported immediately. We must support one another. The zoo called Nigeria will get tired. Without all this happening to our people, happening to us, we will not be where we are. We are, of course, very much aware that it is not easy. And that is why you people on the ground are the people who are making things happen. Do not be discouraged because we have suffered so much we have indeed gone too far to even begin to think of going back go ahead please no problem sir uh, i will be trying to uh, my zoom is the focus of my work all right thank you very much and god bless you and continue to evangelize and do not keep quiet over certain discouragement that may be coming from our people there are some people who have taken money, and very soon that money will destroy them. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. It's wasting time here, listening to himself probably. Next, call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Living from here, can you hear me? Yes, you can pull over my other living from here. What is going on in our bar? Are you getting us in our bar via FM? Clearly, I am right now at the area job shop. Right. The good news, the good news in the whole world is Nigeria police is arresting Nigeria police in our what is going on? The yeah, zoo will burn. Yeah. The zoo will destroy the zoo. That is what, that is, what is going on. That is what is going on now, okay, and that is are... that is what will become. That that is what will continue to go ahead until it collapses. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there was a group of Nigeria who called them a NATCAT, a National Association for the Drilling Task Force. They yeah, did their training three days ago, Nigeria to Nigeria. Nigerian police from Ukwemu, uh, who was in the DP office in Aba, went and arrested their colleagues. They claimed that those people are IPOD members, but they are not. And, and they are fighting themselves, right? They are, they are, they are fighting police, is fighting police. You know, teach your mouth because the opposite NMPC, ask anybody. That is those our prayer answered by the Most High God to set confusion into their midst. I'm telling you exactly, op opposite NMPC, finally, at the Kapara. 
the, the name of that office is National Task Force. Police arrest police. That's nonsense. Okay, no problem. There's nothing like Nigeria. We, no matter where we are, but we're in Biafra. Most of Nigeria is there. Nigeria is off. Thank you very much. Even when Thank I have Nigerian men in, in our radio, I don't like to hear Nigerian men. They did it just like them. Let's not mention Nigeria again. Thank yes, you. my brother, Thank but you me. know. Uh, there are certain things, certain steps we have to take initially until we are completely, you know, we can completely get rid of that name from our system and from our midst. Yes. Uh, it's, a, it's going that to be one, a gradual one. one indeed. Right. Yes. Thank you very much, my brother. I hope you have prepared for the boycotting of the zoo not, already not rigged election. There's no election in, in the actual and I want to remind you, there's a good news yesterday from Malaysia. Our IFAB member called. I don't know if you are, if you listen to radio yesterday when uh, Onyibe was on control. No, I was I on transit yesterday. Okay, let me give this question to you. I'll pick it up. That's my job to listen to radio yesterday after my day work. That yes. means the new people are poisoned. They complain that we are going to use in the upper land. So anybody going there is taking poison. That's what they're going to do. Nobody would like to take poison by himself. So it's a very good information. Now the complete time that they use in their fair land, that our factory have already poisoned it. So there's no need of talking about uh, if someone wants to commit suicide, it's right for him to commit suicide by himself. So going for a pulling boots is complete suicide. That's the way I see it. Right, thank you very much. Whatever happens, boycotting of that already rigged election is our priority. And there is nothing else. Stay at home, stay away from pulling boots because if you go out there, you will have yourself to blame if care is not taken. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. We thank that brother from our bar for that update. Good evening from here. Can you hear me? No, he is gone. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Hello? Yeah, good evening from here. I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much, Uchina. So, this is Induko Okoro from Iberi. Mazi, Induko Okoro, there we go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah. from Iberi, Iberi, then the local government. Then the local government in Umaya province, in the heart of the Afro land. I want to continue to re-echo what our leader told us. There will be no election in the Afghanistan, and there is confusion in the whole of the two countries. You can see now what is happening. Now, our leader specifically told us that any person from South South or South East who has seen what has happened to uh, the Chief Justice of Norway and continue to believe in Nigeria, that person is not it's not supposed to be called a human being. Can you see what they have done to our, our brother, who is very, very innocent? Because Buhari or Jubri wants to put his brother there, and he has succeeded in putting his brother And he there has, and, and nobody is saying anything. You know what? But, they, yeah. Before, <laughs> they, you see, first of all, we have to fight for our people. We must unite. Well, we must stand yeah. in defense of our brother. But again, yeah. there are some unscrupulous individuals and groups in Biafra land. Mm -hmm. These are yeah, the people yeah. working with the enemies to try yes. to destroy our We told them, like we told Beijing. them right from yes. time that yes. this fight is not IPOB fight because if you keep silent, if you criminally keep silent, they will come for you at the appropriate time. And that is what is happening but now. Yes. Our That's leader, Mazin Namkan, has said it several times. They thought it's only about IPB. Now, the enemies are indeed on rampage. Our leader not... is a prophet. Our leader can be likened to Nostradamus, who sees tomorrow. Because whatever he has told us since how many years has always come to be, to be seen clearly. Now, look at what they're doing to our brother. And then let me see what this. Uh, Especially somebody like Abadio. Abadio, 
Let me see what he will say. Abavio, Abavio is working to be a senior president. That's just that's just him, that's just he what he it. wants. It's simple like that, and you. he's being used as a devilish tool to destabilize our people. Oh, our Abavio he, just he, changed he, overnight, he, and that is what money can do. And evil is evil, and we must stand against it. Very important. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Now people have come there. They say pandem or anything evil. Outside. They said they're from them. We do not. He don't, 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 don't trust those people. We what we want is action. Doctor. It's not about. Tomorrow uh, they will call them and give them money. It's, it's not about coming down. out of conference and issuing communique on yes. pages of newspaper. That is a bygone issue at the moment. Go ahead and defend your people statement. and live up to your expectations. Hmm? To what you have they, call it, they come and make colorful statements and collect their cannabis, go, go back and go. So this is the thing. Let us watch whether the NBA as a body will react or them. Because their president said something that they, they don't believe in this. So let us see what they will do. They will, see, they, they, they will capitulate in the end. Because money is everything for them. Like the like the that is why Congress. we will not they trust them. We are yes. not going to trust them, yes. my brother. We will never trust them. I still remain on the Kokoro from Iberi. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Very grateful. Thank you very much, right. Mazi. And God bless you, and family. Well, this is what you'll be for our presentation. We are moving forward and no stopping, no surrendering, no capitulation until total freedom, total liberation. Is our chief. This is Radio Pierre for the presentation. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Call on the phone. Go ahead, please. Good evening, John. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. My name is Billy Mary Kumasi of Fresh Way Biafra. Calling from Aba. I think right, thank you very much. Bless you. Bless you too. Bless you, Mazi, telephone. Bless you too. Go ahead. Please. Bless our friend leader, Mazi Nande Okukano. You see? The chief prophet you have ever seen. But you go keep our blessing. Mazi the power of the Spirit is supposed to tell the Lord that we, the people on ground, we are ready to boycott this election. We are not going to vote. We are going, we have been evangelizing, telling people that we should boycott this election. Anybody that comes out to vote, Whatever he see that they let him manage it. Because this is what exactly what they want. So we the people on ground, we are not going to vote. We are ready to stay at home, to eat awful cafe that day. Wherever you are, buy whatever you're going to eat on sixteenth, on fifth, on sixteenth is it at home. We are going to buy cut the election, they are not coming up, whatever they like, if they like, let them put their money. They are not going to Come that's, not, that's not yeah, our business. We will have to go ahead and do what we are supposed to do and then leave the rest to God. Yeah. And I can assure you, we are going to emerge victorious in the end. Yeah, thank you, sir. I say, let's go together and bless you and bless, bless you all too. Biafra all over the world. I see you the men, Mazi Okwekwe Biafra, calling all the way from Abba. Thank you, let's go together and bless you in the name of Chuko Kada, my friend. He said, bless you too. Thank you very much. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? We must remain. This message of boycotting of the zoo presidential election that is already rigged must continue. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome yeah, to the program. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Go Mazze, ahead, please. Mazu Ujen, Bless you and keep you. I can hear you. Mazi Utemefo. And you too. Yeah. Mazi Utemefo. My name is Chimwa Anya Chibundo. I am from Ichuku. Ichuku is in Ishia Langwa, province of Jefalande. Yes. Mazi Utemefo. We, my family, everybody in my family, we have prepared to boycott every election in next month or coming election in February. No single person in my own family, Chibundu, family of Chibundu, no single person, including my 
sister and my father, my mother, every of us, nobody will go out from that day. It's a promise. I'm, I'll, I, I'm going to make sure that nobody will. And until nobody, nobody, nobody will go again in my family. Mazi, which is my fault. I want to tell you, the other time I call you, I tell you that those people call themselves man of God. Those people are not human beings. Those people are not really man of God. Because we are talking about the governor of election. Do you know that we are, the, the, uh, the politicians are doing campaign now, it's on, it's on the day, it's in, in the church. Every big, big church now, the politicians are going to, they are going there and give them money. Some of those pastors are coming in the church to compare for election to vote article or vote for vote, vote for God or vote for article. Mass with him for those people who call themselves man of God, they are not really man of God. Because if it are if it are, if it are, if it are real man of God, that church, they have to talk some people that May let them back on election because we don't have any hope in Nigeria. But they cannot say that those things because they need money. They need to go. Those pastors need to write more than 10 cars. They need to get, they need to get billions. But the people in that church, the, the people in that church are suffering. I want to tell, I want to tell our people this thing now because this is it's in my mind since since to tell those people. You, can you remember that there's one church in my in my in my street? The time we want to I, I just remember we want to go to, we want to talk to call uh, on Radio Diafra to explain our view. We went I went there to tell that pastor say we want to stay here and to do, do call. Do you know what those people tell us? The pastor tell us tell me that the church don't want problem because I think they want to come. If you say that unless uh, uh, or uh, okay, want to want to come to my church and do compare, they will say, they will tell him to come, come, come. I don't say who that part uh, that uh, okay, the person will bring money and give them. My duty before these people is not our people. These people are not represent represent us. My duty before there is another thing I want to beg our people. There is some some inside inside area where our radio is not up or around in that place. Because if any human being, only one for who do you for? The radio they have for a day only for a day. That person will buy us a lesson because we don't have anything in Nigeria. We are not getting anything. Look at who. Who Jubin and Oatuku? Okay, before before our people are telling us, uh, uh, Jubin tell us, uh, Buari tell us, uh, uh, you go bring change. Our people are clapping that time. Say Buari will bring change. Now nah, Buari have bring that uh, dead to us. Our people, I want to tell our people now. Can, have you forget how many people Jubin or Buari? Kill in five and down. Have you forget how many people to bring or Buari kill in National High School? Have you forget how many people to bring and the Buari kill in Nanamba State? In Nanamba State. Have you forget how many people this government have killed our people? You want to go and vote at Wateku so that at Wateku will start killing our people. Anybody, anybody who go out that day and vote, to go to child Yama, we track that person dead. Anybody who go out that day and vote, the priest of our people who go to the Bible and the devil of money and the Jubilee, kill. That's no spirit we have that person. My brother, my father, we are not going to hear. Nobody will go into, nobody in my family will vote. Nobody. Anybody who works in my family cannot collect one naira from my hand again. I have told them that I believe they believe me. They believe what I they believe what I I believe. My little member, I want to watch, I want to tell our people in Nigeria language, Mboto, Ichuku, Amapota, 
Obo go to a Chegata. Let you people go and find it. You go and find the place where I be open. Family day. Go and join there. And know what our people are doing. Know what Mazen Namdekan are doing. Because some of you don't know what Mazen Namdekan are doing. Because I know you will be using it. I go in no money so many shares there. Can you show me? I know you are going to use it. No, no. Na ichuko family. John, I know na. Kau emang lain je mula mula. Ulu le kan dengan kau ini dengan kau ini jangan apa apa. Na tang, na kuabaru, na ini kita school ada kubo. Adi yang mau tahu na. Before before in this in before before, some of people are telling their children for university so that they at the same that one. If that one is in the university, they will go and get to work. Begin to train their children that 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 you know what. But now you get if you will finish your university university five years. You never go to work. Which kind of government is this? The solution is Biafra. The solution is by passing of the red card so that Nigerian government will know that they, they are not from us. Now, I do to my boss, the two of God, I bless you. I want to greet my people in Bakasu Zone. Bakasu Zone is the one. Remind you to do it. Remind you to do it. My boss, my boss. Thank you very much, and you too. Thank you very much. And we we have to move on. There is no going back. Our brother was on point, and the only thing we must have to do is to consolidate and be principled in our approach to these issues, because we have a nameless tax. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the yeah. program. My deputy leader. I remember the the condition of Nigeria now, before before the sixteenth of February, as states are moving here now, I don't know whether the zoo can hold the election by their they are now using our own method now. Some of them are like a, the minimum wage group. They, if they not complete their money, 30,000 naira minimum wage, they will pay the election. All of them now are you know, from ITOB. So, <laughs> the condition of the zoo is making me laugh every day. I used to listen to their news because when I said it, they would send a radio Biafra. So, I used to be amused when I listen to it, then I analyze with them. Look at the issue of the justice of the nation calling water on nugget. You say they started attacking water on nugget. The Jubilee say it's not a we are that they're attacking the man. But the Jubilee went out he, the he man was the one that made them a speech regarding <laughs> the suspension and all that. With yes, his house of Fulani Islamic jihadists. Which is um, yes. full on the bag. You know, yes. they, they did what? that in a symbolic way, you know, to send a yes, message uh, across to those who are yet to understand what the issues are. These people are going to overrun so, us. In the army, they are in control. In police, they are in control. Politically, they are, they are control. in control. In judiciary, they are in control. Economically, they yeah. have encircled us. What are we talking and the about? Economically, have got that. So the same thing happened during the time he went out uh, for a mission. When Otu Banjo from what the acting the uh, DSS chairman, which is Maman Dawara, because of his years with a lot in House of Assembly class without notice of his him. And uh, immediately the debris they come back, he removed the same person that Otu Banjo put in, within a month and the night days, that man from Bayasa, which is the fever. The same man, uh, the, my brother, the no, annoying, no. the annoying part of this whole thing is that adults that have families, they are in their late, I don't know, uh, at the verge of saying <laughs> by goodbye to this world, they will continue to lie to their teeth, even if, with impunity. How can anybody, any reasonable man, especially those who claim to have gone to school? be pretending about what is going on in the zoo called Nigeria, you will see a terrorist who has been killing, maybe well, destroying lives. You will come and say he's performing very well. 
you know, that he's I your savior and all that. And they know that they are lying. So, hypocrisy upon hypocrisy. Anyway, leader, go ahead, please. And let's move forward. The country is totally done, my leader. Look at now. You know, Gonena, Mazu Chenna, but you went to Gonena from Ogonena to respond this night. Everywhere is army in Ogonena. They now ask, what is army doing in Ogonena? They say, the army people came to help the people that will do the cleanup of Ogonena. People ask, this army are going, are they going to use guns to clean the land or help them to open the borehole? What is the army doing there? Ogonena people are now shouting, say, this is the plan to leak the election because the date is at hand. They said, no, 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 no. They had a chance to help them to clean, do a good cleanup. Master Chemapo, I have followed these two people who went where they are doing the cleanup in Ogun. If you reach there, it will not feel like we are federal government of Nigeria is doing something. Just like when community wants to grab somewhere, you know, just like federal government, I say, even if they went to there for a job, we take wrong, <laughs> even myself. There are many people that guide us, all of us, for no wrong because of the crisis of the Master Chemapo. As of the last two years, 2017. So, this country is done. I'm a night in Ogoni because of election is at the hand. So, my leader, I have not really asked that is, they My brother, this is what is to come because they're going to yes. encircle everybody. Nobody will be That's able to vote because it. there is no voting to start with. And they are going to place yes. blanket order on uh, yes, uh, uh, phone gadgets and cameras and all that. They have said it right from the outset. If you go to court, this Fulani uh, Janja with George will indeed, you know, they will just, he will just sweep you aside. If you go through a political process, they will destroy you. If you go through security, they will mow you down. So what are we talking Not about? Until our people realize that collectively, we must yes. constitute an opposition to this inimical systematic and devilish system that has been put across to us to, su to suppress us forever, we will not make any progress. But that POB remains un unshakable until we yeah. constitute obstacle to the upward movement of this evil empire called Nigeria with a view for it collapsing. We will be joking yeah. for the next century. But it is not our portion. Yeah. We will not hand over this battle so to our children yes. or next so, generation will do it. I had, yes. I had when they asked somebody how is he preparing to buy out the election on the 15th of February, which is uh, up to 20 days now. It's not up to a month again, just about 20 days now. I, what you can call it, was already prepared. But Mazu Chemapo, I'm pleading for you people to help me, not I don't have money. My radio that I used to listen to radio just right. the one I'm using now is my car radio on very soon I'll enter house because of security in the town. So the question you people are asking before to get the radio or get credit, I have answered it too. I'm not answering it to get the uh, credit, I'm answering it to get the radio, but I couldn't make it. Please, that radio is important for me. I have played to the the our uh, uh presenter former uh um children right this evening. So I'm also pleading to you people, not, I don't have money, I have the money to buy, but I will not buy. I want the Jaffa to help me, give me one of that radio. Let me circulate it for the air and let my people see it. That's what I'm saying. So for the by custom of election, I'm also saying, my, from my own country, including my, my community, in Yam, here in Iguacha, I'm one of the victim members of my community meeting here. Before the day, we'll have our own meeting, and I will still, I will still make it as I used to do it. That's it in the that is my plea this evening. I remember what you can call it. I'll help you, Afra. Oh, hey, Piafra. Thank you very much. And uh, God bless, of course. We are taking everything on board. Our platforms will continue to do what they can in the circumstance to make sure that our people are encouraged. We are also asking our people in the diaspora to help those at home to make sure that they have access to our broadcast by sponsoring uh, satellite decoders and other uh, important aspect of uh, FM listening installation gadgets that will enable our people to have access to our broadcast. Sponsor our people at home. People should come together, especially those in abroad. Every community in Biafra land 
must work together to make sure that FM stations are sponsored. Every community, especially those having representatives in IPOB in different parts of the world, should come together to make sure that their communities are not behind. If you wait for us, it will take us longer time. But if we make collective effort in that direction, we will be able to indeed complete this project in time. In the meantime, we urge you to use available platforms to listen to us. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Yeah, my phone. My name is Emeko Chapo. As in there, we'll go ahead, please. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I want to comment that we, their friends, are not going to go to this cause. We have nobody to go. And Nigeria is not our country. And we are not going to be us. These people are not one with us. And we, as a Christian, we don't need to vote for any Muslims because they are not our own people. And these people are be killing us because they find out that we are them and not one. And we are not Nigeria like them. That's why they are killing us. And now they want us to come and vote for them. I want them to know that we are not going to vote for them because they are not one with us. I want the, all members of my people all over the world to know. But your um, mother, your brother, to your sisters, all of them in the village area, the rural area, that nobody should come out and vote that day. So we are going to give them 100% of the cotton of that election. We know these women themselves have started making their own problems. They have started fighting themselves. We are, they are going to collapse. Right, that line is off. Of course, our brother is on point. Uh, we will, of course, do everything manly possible to make sure that this boycott is a success, especially among IPOB family. If you want to go and vote, that's your business. There shall be no voting from our communities in their family. There are some individuals and groups who have already taken money from the zoo called Nigeria. We are not unaware of these opportunists that we try to come out on the streets to try to discredit IPOB but you are going to discredit yourself in the final analysis can you hear me call on the phone good evening from here welcome to the program yes go ahead please thank you very much I want to congratulate you for your work Go ahead, the world is listening to you. Go ahead, please. I want to thank our leader, our leader for his work, for the of Diaphora. I'm telling that this election that we are going to buy court is 100% sure. We are going to buy court all all by cutting things in Nigeria here. The president has accepted the debate that we want to do in the room. And look at it, Bazo and co members that accepted the debate. They wanted to be here in our yard and say, So, why will why are you give not a court election? We will be here with the resolution. I'm calling from ABA, Pandu, and ABA here. We will not resolve. And we are waiting for that to come so that we can show them what we can do. Thank you very much, and God bless you, of course. Everybody must indeed get ready. Our people on Facebook have been asking repeated questions regarding our, our despite the fact that we have made this announcement. I am taking time now to send the links. If you go to my wall, you will see the link to downloading our app, and I'm also sending it on our chat platform on this broadcast you have no excuse to be asking all those questions you have said that our app is not working you don't need to download the old app we have a new app download the new app very important can you hear me call on the phone good evening from yes, here I can welcome hear to the you, program my able deputy leader 
Yes, welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. My name is Marzi Igwe Donald. I'm calling you from Germany. I'm from Thank you very Ebony much, Marzi. In the Afra land. Many thanks to you, my every deputy, and many thanks to our Supreme Leader, Marzi Nam Kano. Thank you very I, much. I don't have much to say tonight. I just have one question for the people. Some of, our, uh, some of the people from South, South, and South East who are talking about election. But my question to them is, do you seriously think that Mohammed, General Mohammed Buhari will conduct election for you to come and defeat him in the election he conducted? That is all the question I want some of them to answer me before they talk about election. Thank you very much, my good deputy leader. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank you very much. Anybody hoping to vote in this election that is already rigged is indeed hopeless. It's as simple as that. People know the truth. Why are you going to perpetuate evil? People are even trying to be smart by half by saying if you don't vote that you are going to strengthen the hands of our enemies but you are the people the people who have decided to go and vote are the people who are perpetuating the devilish system and perpetuating the criminal politicians in office if you don't vote they will not have any reason or legitimacy to act over you they will not have any justification legally and otherwise to do anything on your behalf if you don't vote, popular revolution will certain, And the people's voice will be heard. Not the voices of politicians, not the voices of the Asa Fulani Islamic fundamentalists who are loading it over us. Our argument is very simple. Do your own and, our, and we do our own. In the end, we take stock. No amount of sabotage will stop IPOB. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. My able deputy leader. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, did you, did you say George Onyibe? Did I hear you well? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. My deputy, my deputy general. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, please. We need to you clarify it because this is not George. Thank you very much, sir. The video on is speaking from Abba. Mendia, where have you been? Uh, I'm around, I'm around. There's no problem. Uh, is, there, is there a way of doing it now? Uh, no, 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 no. We are, we are still in it together. <laughs> okay. I just want to ask. Go ahead, please. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Uh, my battery is very low now. I have paid my battery this month. Uh, there is no light, so my battery is low. I only call this night to welcome my able leader, my savior, the UK. You're welcome, sir. And I am expecting to hear from you, and I believe there will be interactive. I believe I will talk to him direct this very time around. I of course, when he of course. In the next couple of yeah. days, our people will be hearing from him live and direct. And it is Thank no longer much, business sir. as usual. We are moving to another stage of the struggle, and it is either we are in there or we are outside. Thank you very much, my brother, and God bless Every, you and keep it on. Everybody should ask themselves, our saboteurs should ask themselves, where is our leader's uh, um, uh, papers? How did he go to Israel? How did he move from Israel to uh, UK? Then from there, you use your tongue and count so, your teeth. Some of them say that, that APC is France. sponsoring yeah. him. <laughs> These people it's should ridiculous. know very well that Diafra is here. Mazi Uchemepo. Please, we have to keep on remembering our people that 16 is Okasi, Ope Okasi, and not a, uh, Open Sara. My brother, Ope any Okasi, soup you like, yes. you cook that day. But of course, I understand <laughs> what you're saying. Ope, uh, the way our, Ope is Ope, soup is soup. But I understand yes, it. The way our people will Offense, the way our uh, people will buy something on 15, will tell Nigeria what will happen on 15. The market will be very boom on 16, and that will tell Nigeria what will happen on 16. 
of course no as the as the time the approaches we will of course give out very specific instructions to our people on what they need to do of course i know that the wise ones among us are also preparing they are at an advanced stage much, and there's no going back thank you very much and god bless you Victoria and keep it on continue to bless everybody bless all i feel remember bless our savior that is coming to serve us you bless see? You see. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You very much sir. God bless. Thank you. This is Radio Pia for that presentation. A lot of calls coming in, and we will try and take as much as possible. Can you hear me next? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? You are listening to your voice, and of course, uh, he is gone. Next. Kola, can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Please don't listen to your voice. Just talk to me via the phone. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. How are you preparing for the boycotting of the zoo already rigged fraudulent election? Right. Thank you very much. Have you talked to your family members? Have you talked to friends? Because individually and collectively we shall be doing this work. Yes. Have you evangelized from your family unit to your village to community to friends? Yes, I've been doing so. So I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm so much happy. Because we are doing marvelous. You know, I can't even know what to say about it. But I do more than I think. Thank you very much, my brother, and God bless you. I want to uh, make a very uh, brief comment on this. I want to appreciate and salute the courage of one of our brothers who uh, called on uh, Radio BFR Extra program some time ago, uh, about two or three weeks ago, suggesting the establishment of a dedicated number or the dedication of a particular number to our mothers, to our women. And Mazi Onibe has tried it and it is working effectively. I never knew that our women, our mothers were trying to call us and they could not get through. 
and on this program I shall be doing the same. Every good initiative must be implemented. We salute the College of Delta, our brother, and we appreciate him, and we also are very much appreciative of Mazi Onibe for taking that initiative on board, and we thank our women, our mothers, they have changed the face of this struggle, and we urge them not to listen to anyone, but to indeed continue to stand for justice. They have indeed done obviously well and made the most high God continue to bless each and one of them and their families. It shall be well with all of them and they shall see their fruit. They remain our pride. They remain everything we are doing in terms of making progress in this struggle. Our women must be supported, our mothers must be supported, our aunties and sisters must be supported. So, make sure that they are enabled in every sense of the word to continue to support this struggle. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Are you talking or no? He's gone. Next, call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. God bless you. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. Go ahead, please. Yes, uh, I want to uh, reach our the I want to say only yes. go ahead we are hearing you we're waiting oh. for you the world is listening to you yes of course uh, the, the world of the world is collapsing and uh, I, I pray every day that Right, unfortunately, that line is off, and we saw that our brother from uh, a, a, a Banke or Asaba area. Thank you very much. He is calling us back, but it appears that his line is not uh, very stable. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Uh, no, okay. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Okay. I appreciate your work for the very well, the work you have done for us. So, uh, can you permit me to speak to our director? Yes, where are you calling from first? Uh, from Adakili Chikovic. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay. So, after I ask you to show you to make a Roman, you make a Roman, you make a Roman, all of the remote, you make a auxiliary, you make a Roman. Because my I had to know I had to work on my but here to be now, actually, can you do it? Is it now? I can't keep it now. That's it. I'm gonna have it. So, let's go to the village first. The house, 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 so even my dad, every advertisement has said, and I'm going to let them know if you want to eat in the room, I'm going to eat in the room. But if you want to eat in the room, I'm going to eat in the room. I'm going to eat in the room. I'm going to eat in the room. So I'm going to eat in the room. So I'm going to eat in the room. So, I don't make it a me to my mobile number because no more than my mother. I know I've been my year, young and old. So, I don't know I've been my own. So, 
This is Radio Pia for our live presentation. We are gradually inching closer to ending this program. But you know what? Our people are still calling us. And as always, we will try to uh, give chance to a number of them. Yeah. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening ma madam. Uh, Go ahead, please. Uh, I'm calling from the Republic. Thank you very much. From the Republic. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, go see That the God Almighty will reward him. You see? You see? In a in a in a radio. radio. Just talk to me via the phone. Later we repeat this broadcast.
I'm using this opportunity to thank our leader. The God, to make a magic, 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 I'm at the end. La vitre la boca, a 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. This is really a beautiful presentation. Our people are amazing. One of our women calling all the way from the Republic. And we will, I, as we have promised, uh, get a dedicated line on this program for our women to call us. No other person will call it. Mazi Onyibe has piloted that and it is working. And we, of course, we do the need for on this platform as well. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, my brother. Go ahead, please. All right, thank you very much, my brother. We are one and do not listen to anybody telling you otherwise. So, what I, what I try to tell Nigeria, I mean, all, all do well that let them know that that we lack that the Afra must stay here. That's the only thing I want, I want to say all the whole world, all the way to Nigeria, go to Africa. Because one thing I saw for Nigeria today, next. Yes, because what I saw for Nigeria today is I never thought to say, I never thought to be for the first, since I was born, 
Of course, my brother, we don't have any other hope than to make sure that everything is done to uh, make sure that Biafra is restored. Right, can you hear me? You are being distracted by your voice. I think you have the radio on as well. Yes, thank you very much, my brother, and God bless you and keep it on. I hope you are preparing to boycott the forthcoming already rigged fraudulent election of the zoo called Nigeria. We are one who have seen what they have done to our brother, the chief justice of the zoo called Nigeria. And uh, you have seen what has happened, if not for anything, everybody in Biafalan, both upland and coastal regions must unite. But at the same time, we must recognize that there are some people, one Nigerian is in our midst, they should learn now. IPOB strategy remains the best. We have nothing to do with this people as citizens in the same country. I think also uh, all the blockers leave the low limbs for the gods. I so many things concerning the Afghan that the Afghan was created because I saw many things since 2015. I saw so many things about the Afghan that the Afghan must, uh, the Afghan must appear because I saw many things in the Kano and the Kano said and some of them appeared because I saw that Thank you very much, my brother. We also appreciate the tenacity of good men in our midst who also stood for justice. Otherwise, uh, the enemies would have swallowed us. Thank you very much and uh, keep it on. This is Radio Biafra for presentation. We are moving forward but in change closer to ending this program. Our people are still calling us and we will, of course, oblige and take their calls as much as we can. Next, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Call on the phone. Go ahead, please. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening from here. Go ahead. My name is Mabweze Akuta. I'm calling from Aba. 
Uh, thank you very thank much. Thank you for all you, people, all you people have been doing, both our leader, Martin and the Carlo. I have uh, this information from Kano. Uh, the, our people in Kano that is doing the uh, drug business, uh, since 4th, January 4th, the Kano state government locked the whole of their shop. Locked the whole of their shop and demand the sum of 150,000 from all of them. Okay. They have been discussing, having a series of meetings with the Kano government. And these people do not open their shop. Then some of them start paying the money. And they, they, the people that pay the money, they open their shop. After that, they say that they will have another local government they want to open, they, they want to develop. So whatever they are doing here, let them bear in mind that they, all of them will be relocated to that lo new local government that they are about to open. So that is the assurance that what they, are, uh, what they told the whole the uh, Biafran people that is doing uh, business in uh, Sabongeri, Kano. Some of them that, that they have that, that don't, don't that, that haven't got money to pay the 150,000, their shop is still locked till now since January 4th. Then just came my, back from my December brother, their shop. my brother, thank you for that information. But I must tell you that anybody in northern part of the zoo called Nigeria from who is from Biafra land and who is molested or whose economic interests have been targeted and the person becomes a victim is on his own. It's as simple as that. I don't know how many times we are going to say all this. Our people are okay. just being desperate for nothing. I understand. It's not your fault. You're giving us the information as it unfolds. These people yeah. have made their intention, their bad intention, their devilish intention very very open to us and they are not missing words about it they don't want us why are our people not listening why are they continuing any any time it pleases the oppressors or enemies they will go after them when they open up a particular place they will demolish their shops and then they will send them to another forest to go and develop and they will still go ahead and develop it IPOB has said enough what we can do this time around is while we continue to do the work we are doing we will continue to smile at the zoo because our okay our positions are being vindicated what does he want us to do anybody that dies in another um, zoo called nigeria kills himself or herself or themselves simple as that my brother and thank okay. you for that news okay for that information uh, another one another one is this uh, in other states about here uh, okay, this also has instructed the whole chairman in Ariaria Market to go and uh, write down the whole names of the people that have shops in Ariaria Market, both other markets in other states. It's best knowing to him what he wants to do with those names because we know that he wants to use it to ring himself, which is not possible. Again, there is one of our brothers. Uh, his name is uh, Michael Ogunna Ndogwa. He's an army. He's an army guy. Then he was posted to uh, Medukri. Then uh, on their way, on their way to Medukri, they have a kind of incident. Then he came back alive during this December time. And he was called for promotion training. Then along that promotion training, the guy was shot dead. Then killed the guy, army guy, I have both his picture and his address. He had, the burial had been done on this uh, January, uh, 25th January. Then did the burial here in River State. My brother, it is Almost. sad. It's very sad. So, But this is not something that our people are not aware of. We have continued to say, have you not heard us say this? Let everybody yes, who yes. is in Nigerian, I mean Nigerian police, desert that service and come home or look for something else to do. And we also were telling our people that the different states in the zoo called Nigeria, or rather in Biafra land, are being forced, different state governments are being forced to uh, bring in, nominate young men from Biafra land. To be recruited in police and army and when they are recruited they will put them in a very special group 
that will be going to fight Boko Haram terrorists. Again, they are not armed. All their weapons are taken away from them. They only use light weapons. And all those weapons that the zoo called Nigeria has been buying, they ship it to the uh, camp of Boko Haram. Boko Haram, for avoidance of that, is the standing army of the Northern House Safalani Islamic Fundamentalists. It's as simple as that. They equip Boko Haram and they continue to systematically eliminate and deplete our population. What you have as Nigerian army today are drawn from rank and file of officers from Biafra land, from Christian population, and they send them to be slaughtered by Boko Haram. And so, we have said this enough, our people must understand what the issues are. Several times this has been announced, several times so many people have ignored us. What do you expect IPOB to do? We will continue to do what we are doing, but we also are not going to be deterred anymore. Can you hear me? Call her on the phone. Somebody on Facebook is saying, as a Omogo, is saying that the zoo army is after him and they are bent on killing him. And if he dies, let Biafrans bury him with Biafra flag. As a Omel go. If you can call me a messenger, I want you to talk to us. Very important. Call my messenger. Call me a messenger and talk to Biafrans. I don't understand what immediate threat you are in at the moment but we are taking it seriously you have sent a message to us on facebook and we are urging you to call us and talk to beer friends now very important unless you don't want to speak we want to appreciate and of course acknowledge that we got your message very important can you hear me call on the phone good evening from here welcome to the program They are not talking. Call her on the phone. Can you hear me? Yes, I oh, can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you loud and clear. Yes, go ahead. We are waiting. Brother people wants to speak. Go ahead, please. Okay. Good evening, Mazucha Mofo. Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, all dear friends all over the world. I'm still your servant, Chukuma Ojeku. From Idan in the local government. Ah, zero, zero. Calling you. There, we'll go ahead. Yeah. Calling you from Morocco, Rabat, precisely as a coordinator of Rabat Zone. I thank Chukwe Kadiyama. I thank everything he has been doing in our struggle today to restore, restore our nation, Biafran. I thank God for the journey mercy for our director, Maze Namo De Carlo. It is not easy, but uh, Almighty Yahweh is on, on his journey and is on with him. Yes. Even our deputy Chomofo, it's not easy for you, but the work has been doing, and that is by the special grace, and they can able and able to strengthen you more and more. I thank all IPOB all over the world, especially people in the Biafra land who can be able to stand firm for their rights, to defend their integrity. To defend their nation, it is not easy. But whoever and whatever anyone is doing, bear it in mind, you are doing it to yourself and to your generation. You do good, you do it to yourself. You do bad, you do it to yourself. We don't count off our trouble. Let them go on and go and, and go do the election. Let them go and vote. But you that are with us, you know that the vote is not for the Bear France. It's not for IPOB. You can count about the governor, you can count about all of them that are sabotaging our, our, our struggle. Where are they today? Many have called fear choosing. Where are they? I'm telling you, you in the Biafra land, don't be, don't be afraid of your enemy. Only stand with the word of our director, Mazu Namo de Carlo. He has said it forever and ever. All the truth we shall use and civilize Nigeria. Only but the truth, nothing else. Of course, you of course. Dear, stand upon that truth. Ha, have you, you seen? Will see what's ha, going to have happen. you have you seen the reports? Uh, but of course, in every rumor there is element of truth there. 
the yeah, report we from, uh, every, we from Nyamodo yes. and uh, the yes. monster in Anambra government house. They are the now fighting more. themselves the and most high God is listening to of our course, prayers. Course, course, our enemies will never have peace. They will of continue course, to fight and destroy themselves in the process. Of course, all oh, not able. I believe you and I believe in what of Chukul Gabi Amadi Elohim. He has already said it all. That with the of truth, course. we shall be free. And that truth, dear friends, wherever you are, you are going to be free. Don't worry, the time is coming. And we are already at the point. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Remain steady and resolute. Very soon we are going to get to where we are going. I salute all IPOB all over the world. I salute all the indigenous people of Biafra. I salute all the zonal coordinators, all the national, all the reps, all the integrity people that are so strongly in this struggling to restore their own nation, God will never allow you to go on shame. May Yahweh Elohim, the Elohim himself, be upon all of us, wherever we are. Thank say, you and all your family members. Thank, thank, thank you very much, and God bless thank you, and keep it up, Mazi. There we this is for the Biafra presentation. It is time to go, my brothers and sisters. Calls are still coming in, but we will have to cut it short. What are we saying here? We are justified morally, spiritually, legally, and otherwise in what we are doing. I need your for no good. Our enemies will indeed pay with their very lives, especially those who are taking the last of their friends and who are plotting to make lives miserable for us. Their evil plot will turn around and destroy them. The land of Biafra shall open up and swallow all of them who are in Biafra land. In the end, we shall emerge victorious. Our leader, Mazin Namdekan, is here in the kingdom, and he has indeed sent a message of solidarity, a message of appreciation to all Biafrans. In the next couple of days, if not hours, he shall be speaking to Biafrans. Once again, we urge you, eminent beer fans, to remain focused, to remain resolute, for times are different. We cannot overemphasize this. Now is the time for our people in both upland and coastal regions of Biafra land to unite and fight a common enemy. If not for anything, the sacking of our brother, Justice Oneg. Or I don't know how to pronounce it very, uh, very effectively, is a pointer and a tip of the iceberg of what is to come. The house of Fulanese have encircled us. They are indeed very much oiled. They have huge amount of financial firepower at their disposal. They also are in control of political position in Biafra land. And they are not going to stop. They are not going to stop. They are going to continue to do what they are doing. Our people must be very careful, very resolute in their approach to issues. We don't believe in resource control. It is not going to help anybody. Resource control has political undertone because very soon some people will be paid off and they will sabotage their front of others. Fight for your freedom. Fight for your freedom. That is the ultimate goal. When you get your freedom, everything will add to it. This is a message of hope, a message of solidarity to our brothers and sisters in the coastal regions of Biafra land. We must stand in solidarity with our brother. Justice, when denied, affects every one of us. And that is why we must not waver. IPOB must stand in solidarity with all our brothers, despite all the ideological differences. But we must also recognize that our enemies are not sleeping. They are in Biafra land. And they are taking territories. They are daily assuming control of things that brought us together. 
and who will betide anybody who will sabotage the effort of the effort. I will take one or two more calls. I don't know why these calls are coming at this particular point in time. I will take it and after that we will of course begin to descend and I hope that your line is stable. Can you hear me? Good evening from here. Welcome to the program. That is the problem. You're calling on messenger and your line is not stable. Uh, caller on the phone. I take this one more call and we call it a night. Good evening, evening from sir. here. Welcome to the program. My deputy. Yes, sir. Welcome I to the really program. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Mazi Ike Okoye. I'm from Ibuku. Ibuku is in Anambra. Japan land. Why I'm taking all the way from Abba. My deputy. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. You believe me that I travel from Abba to to uh, one village to uh, at the river state. Believe me. Uh, one one of our boys that are serving in Nigerian army, Ibuku by name, from Omuwaka in the area of Omuwaka. That boy was buried yesterday. The captain in Nigerian army, a boy of that something years, they just killed this boy on the he, he, They slaughtered him. They allowed Boko Haram to slaughter him. Because Boko Haram is the standing army of the Northern Pro of the Zoo called the Fulanese. Let nobody deceive you. The people you are seeing now saying that they are Nigerian army are actually Biafrans. They want to use these guys to destroy our people. They are gradually taking the most brilliant, the most strongest of our people among the youths to go and fight Boko Haram. Why they send their own people in Biafra land? They gave Boko Haram every sophisticated weapons of warfare and they take away the weapon that our people will use to fight them. In the process, they slaughter them after slaughtering them, they will come back and recruit more and send them. And our people are jubilating and they don't know about all these things. Truth about it is that the zoo, there's nothing like Nigerian army now. All of them are on the camp of Boko Haram. Boko Haram is the standing army of Fulanese. Simple as that. Fulani hurts men as well. They know what they are doing. So, my deputy, please, can you permit me to... You talk to Jibril. Mr. Jibril, your name is Jibril and you are Jibrating. Uh, I want to tell you one thing. I get how many Japan has been killed because of you. And the those that are not announced, but I will, you know the one that, that has been announced. One was killed in your country and one was killed, you know, two was killed in uh, Nigeria. The last, the, the last one is uh, I next Friday. Do you know that it's because of you that that man was uh, assassinated? I want to tell you one thing, Mr. Jibril. Look, go and ask elders. Any head that is best to connot and never ever leave to see that coconut. Now, there are little cabal and he will bring you. I promise you, you can never escort it free. As they kill other people because of you, so they will kill you because they, they, they really want to bury truth. Because one day you must force to tell the truth. That is why they must kill you. So you are saying there, let me tell you, you are just in, in, enjoy your funeral in a life and nothing more. And nothing more. Now I'm coming to Japan land. My fellow Japan, you seem to be very careful. No special deal that I'm a. Uh, in a, in, a, in a civil servant. Can you imagine chicken money, 30,000 naira that Nigerian government can, can, can be able to pay you for your, as your wage? But those people that are now getting to pay you 25 to 27, how much are their weekend, uh, what they call it, uh, 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 weekend bonus? Those common bonus, not their, not their, their basic. Bonus, how much is a weekend bonus? Or did your wife and your children go to different market and their own are going to different market? We all are selling the same market. Now, 
how much is the stock of rice here in Nigeria today? They are, they are, they are doing the best to pay you to sell it. And what, 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 what you should tell me most that uh, when you people who organize to do some uh, 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 protest or something like that, you are, uh, you are leaders who go behind uh, and take a bribe and ask you to continue and you continue. This is an opportunity for you to record every bicultural election. This is the connection to who go the number one, who go the number one well, well for you to act. Let me tell you, if you need this opportunity, I don't think we blackers will not follow you to suffer. Because uh, our 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 yes, our destination has been uh, assured. Then coming to my own town, I'm from Ibuku. Ibuku people, I, as, as I told you the other day, wake up. Wake up because I know the role Ibuku played during the Nigerian Japan war. Ibuku played a very big role there. Yeah. Wake up. Wake for your slumber. My deputy, this is all I can say this night. Thank you very much, my deputy. Thank you very much and God bless you. And uh, this is where we'll be ending this program. We thank you, Eminem Beer Friends, for having participated. We also appreciate the presence of the Most High God in our midst. We indeed continue to implore Him to continue to reign, continue to revive us, and more importantly, may give us every enablement to restore Beer Friends. From me, from here, this is the Chamber 4 at this particular point in time. Sign off. Thank you very much. Good night and God bless.